Look, I will show you how to fix this instantly. To get started, open Unloxy. If you don't have an account there yet, watch the sign up video. Then on the dashboard, open the iCloud Activation Lock Removal app. It supports all OS versions and all models from iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch. Select the device you have and choose if you want to use an IMEI or a serial number. After entering the IMEI, check the box to agree to the various terms and start your unlock. As you can see, the unlock order has now started and there is an estimated wait time provided. You can easily track the progress by going back to this page anytime. Stop, before you do anything, you need to listen to this. If you go and make a new account at Unlocksy right now, you will be stuck in the waitlist for weeks. But I have a solution for that. To skip the waitlist, scroll down on this video to find the join button. Click it and select the membership that has the Unlocksy perks. Go ahead and grab the membership right here on YouTube. Once done, you can view your perks. Go to our channel and go to perks. There you see detailed tutorials and find a code that can skip the Unlocksy waitlist. If you don't have an account yet, use the invite link to jump right ahead to a verified account. But if you're stuck on the waitlist, copy the invite code and enter it on the waitlist to instantly gain access to Unlocksy. That's how easy it is. Since we already submitted our unlock a few hours ago, let's see if it's done. Let's go to my orders and select the one we've made. Let's quickly confirm this is the right device and yes, everything matches. The unlock is complete. That means you are good to go and your device is finally unlocked. All right, that's it for Unlocksy and let's discuss some alternative ways. Ever bought a used iPhone and boom, it's a brick? Yep, you've probably hit the iCloud activation lock. So today we're gonna break down exactly what that is and more importantly, how you might just get past it. Okay, picture this. You get that secondhand iPhone or iPad, you're all excited to get it set up and then wham, you hit this wall. This screen right here, iPhone locked to owner. Oh, it is that sinking feeling, right? That moment of pure frustration when you realize your awesome new gadget is basically a really, really shiny paperweight. But hey, hitting that wall doesn't have to be the end of the line. Not at all. In this explainer, we're gonna walk through what this lock is, why it's even a thing, and the actual steps you can take to reclaim a device that you legally own. All right, section one. So, you've got this pricey paperweight. Let's figure out what we're really up against before we dive into the fix. Okay, before we go any further, we have to get something super important out of the way. And I mean it, this is crucial. This whole guide is for educational purposes only. You should only, and I mean only, try this on a device that you are the legal owner of. Seriously. Trying this on a device you don't own could have some real legal consequences. So, you know, let's just be smart and ethical here. Okay, with that very important disclaimer out of the way, let's get into the nitty gritty. We're gonna really understand this digital lock because, you know, to beat the problem, you gotta understand the problem. So what is this iCloud activation lock anyway? So at its heart, the activation lock is this super powerful security feature from Apple. It kicks in automatically the second you turn on Find My. And honestly, the best way to think about it is like a digital padlock. It literally chains your device's unique serial number to one specific Apple ID. And that chain, it's not on the phone, it's locked away on Apple's own servers. And that's exactly why it's so tough to break. The lock doesn't live on your phone, it lives on Apple's servers. So you can do a factory reset, you can even put the phone in DFU mode, which is like a super deep reset, and it won't do a thing. The lock just survives. It's an amazing anti-theft feature, right? It makes stolen phones pretty much useless. In fact, in a lot of places, it's a legally required kill switch, specifically to fight phone theft. Okay, so the lock is a beast, we get it, but it's not impossible, especially if you're the rightful owner. So let's get to the next part, assembling your toolkit. Getting your gear ready is like half the battle here. Now, you don't need a whole lab or anything, but the few things you do need are really important. First, a computer you can count on. Next, a high quality USB cable. And I'm serious here, don't use some frayed cheapo cable you found. A bad connection can cause so many headaches. And speaking of connections, you need a stable internet connection. This whole process talks to servers, so if your Wi-Fi cuts out, the whole thing could fail. 
And last but not least, you need that device's unique ID number. So where do you find that number? Easy, on that lock screen, the hello screen, look for a little eye in a circle. It's usually down in the bottom right corner. Just tap that and boom, it'll show you the IMEI or serial number. Go ahead and write that down and double check it. It's literally the key to everything that comes next. All right, we've got our tools, we've got our secret number. It is time for the main event. Let's get into the bypass blueprint, the core technical steps you've been waiting for. Now, hold on. You've probably seen ads or guides promising a 10 minute fix. Let's be real about what that means. The source material is clear on this. That's the active time, the time you spend clicking and typing. The actual processing time, the part where the magic happens in the background, that can take a while, maybe even hours. So patience is absolutely your best friend here. The most important thing is to follow these steps exactly. First, connect the device to your computer. Second, and this is the tricky part for some, you have to get it into DFU mode. That's device firmware update mode. Think of it as a super deep recovery state that lets the computer talk directly to the phone's hardware. Now the button combo to get into DFU mode is different for almost every iPhone model. So you'll have to look that up for your specific phone. Once you're in that mode, you fire up your bypass tool, punch in that IMEI number you wrote down, and then you wait. And whatever you do, do not unplug that phone. Just let it do its thing until it restarts all by itself. Now, as for the tools you'll use, you basically have two options. You can go the DIY route with software tools. That's more hands-on. You're the one putting it in DFU mode and running the program. Or you can use a commercial service. These are usually just websites where you submit your IMEI and they handle everything on their end. It really just comes down to how comfortable you are getting your hands dirty with the techie stuff. Okay. So you did it. The lock is gone, you see the home screen, it's a great feeling. But hold on, we're not quite at the finish line yet. Let's talk about life after the lock and how to make sure that device is secure and more importantly, truly yours. You've officially turned that locked brick back into a functioning device with a totally fresh start. Awesome. Now let's make sure it stays that way by locking it down to your account. Here is your post unlock checklist. First things first, test everything. Can it connect to Wi-Fi? Can you make a call? Can you get into the App Store? Just make sure it's all working. Then, and this is the most important step of all, go straight into settings and sign in with your own Apple ID. That's what makes the device officially yours. After that, be sure to turn on Find My so you've got that security on your side. From there, it's all you. Restore from a backup or just set it up like a brand new phone. And that's pretty much the whole process. We've gone from a frustrating lock screen all the way to a fully secured, unlocked device. But you know, it kind of leaves us with a bigger question, doesn't it? This whole situation lives in this weird gray area between security and ownership. So it makes you wonder, where is the line between our right to control the hardware we own and a global security standard that's in place to stop theft? It's a really fascinating debate and it's right at the heart of the tech we use every day. Something to think about. Thanks for joining me on this one. Quick heads up before you check out Unloxy. Just so we're clear, I'm only sharing this link with you. I don't run on Loxy, I'm not part of their team, and I have zero control over how they operate their business. If you run into any problems with your account, need help with something, or have questions about how things work over there, you'll need to reach out to Unloxy directly. They handle all their own customer service and support stuff. Before you sign up, make sure you read through their terms of service and privacy policy. Those are the rules you're agreeing to when you use their platform, not mine. I can't be held responsible if something goes wrong while you're using their service. That includes things like the site going down, issues with your account, how they handle your information, or any other problems that might pop up. It's between you and them. Now this is really important. This service is only for legal use. You absolutely cannot use it to unlock a phone that doesn't belong to you, was stolen, or that you found somewhere. That's illegal and could get you in serious trouble. You'll need to show that you actually own the device you're trying to unlock. If you misuse this service, that's on you and you could face legal consequences. Lastly, I'm just passing along the link. That doesn't mean I'm vouching for them or saying they're the best option out there. Do your own research and make sure it's right for you.